Hi and welcome to Wind Down Yoga. Simply that. Nothing expected of you, just a nice, gentle, slow stretch. Focusing on the breath, some nice little twists. We're going to release the upper spine, the lower spine. We're going to open up the shoulders and we're going to have a really lovely long shavasana, like a little mini yoga nidra. So for this practice, I would recommend gathering all the props that you have available to you. So have your blocks with you and then a strap might be handy for one of the moves that we're going to do, but it's not essential and a blanket for definite. So at the end, and if you use anything else in your shavasana, like an eye pillow, you want a pillow for underneath your head, you know, just have as many props as possible so we can get super cozy at the end on shavasana, but it's going to be really slow and just a nice stretch for the body. So the perfect session to do when you're You've had a long day, basically, or maybe a nice thing to wake you up in the morning, but in a really slow way if you haven't got to rush up anywhere, 60 minute session. So gather all your props and let's get comfortable. We're going to come sit into a seat that is a way that we can relax into it. So if you want to lean against a wall, you want to come sit on a bolster, you want to come into cross-legged, just somewhere where the whole spine can be relaxed, shoulders can be relaxed and we're not holding ourselves up. And I tend to love sitting on a bolster for that reason. So get yourselves comfy. And we get started. And we're just going to have a little bit of a movement, sort of wiggle through the spine, little rolls of the shoulders. As we just sort of unravel and wind down from the day, maybe a little bit of a movement with the neck. You might want to do semicircles. I'm just encouraging you to kind of move your body in a way that feels good. So maybe even close the eyes and that will help us to kind of just follow what the body is kind of wanting to do or guide us in a certain way that might be areas that feel a little bit tight so just keep wiggling and moving maybe some rotations around the hips nice and we'll get some movement into those arms as well so let's inhale sweep the arms up and as you float them down keep a nice softness into the elbows but draw them back so we sort of open up the heart as we do and we'll do a few more of those about another three or four so inhale lifting up maybe the gaze comes up and keep those arms really super soft. I just really want to kind of think about drawing the arms and the shoulder blades back. And those arms can be as soft. You can create shapes of them. I don't want them to be stiff or to crowd the ears, you know, creating too much activation in the shoulders. So make this your last one and really sort of float the arms down nice and slowly. Nice. Okay. And then from there, we're going to take the take our hands on our shoulders with our elbows in line with our shoulders. And they're tiny little circles. And as you do, just press down into your seat a little and draw your ribs in. Lovely. Those small little circles, first of all, and then gradually start to increase those circles. Really small and slow. So we're not looking to create too much work in the body. We're going to just slowly unwind, warm up those muscles, but in a way that we do it slowly, softly, because we're actually winding down from the day. We're not looking to activate the muscles in a way that we're gonna energize them. Lovely, and then a little bit bigger now. Maybe for some, we might get our elbows together, but remember to draw them back as well. And it's not about the elbows touching, it's just kind of making these circles now as big as you can make them. Nice. And then just slowly release that and let the arms just hang down by your sides. Soften the gaze or close the eyes and just draw the chin in. And we're just going to focus on that sensation as we let the natural weight of the head do that stretch down the back of the neck into the upper part of our spine and our back. And if you could draw it, just sort of visualize the shape of where you can feel that sensation. Maybe it doesn't feel too much of a sensation today. Maybe this sort of position is what we do quite a lot because we're on our phones or on our computers and things like that. And we tend to take this sort of rounding shape often. Or maybe it feels really good and feels quite strong. So we're feeling tight and stiff around those shoulders, upper spine. And then I just want you to draw your chin over to one shoulder, doesn't matter which one. And as if you're looking over, but keep the eyes closed. 
And we'll just pause there again. Can you let those shoulders relax? It's really quite hard to let go of those shoulders. They tend to always activate and get involved with everything we do. And then if there's a forcing or a kind of pulling going on, can you soften that as well? It's amazing how much we sort of, you know, we've got so much movement and we're so used to holding this head. It's really hard again, like the shoulders, to let go of them. Let go of the head, soften. And just notice your breath as it is. And roll that chin across the chest really slowly, feeling every little movement, noticing all those little areas that might be a bit tight, might need a bit more warmth or opening, and then we make our way sort of looking over the other shoulder, but with our eyes closed. Notice the shoulders have activated again. It's amazing, isn't it? Relaxing left, relaxing right. Good work, guys. And again, going through all those little things, can we let go of pushing to the edge or pulling or forcing that head and just relax the muscles? We're using some to turn the head, but we won't, don't want to force anything. Come back to your breath, notice your exhalation and see if you can even soften more muscles each time you exhale. Invite a little more conscious breath into the equation now. If you don't want to shift it dramatically, just taking a little bit deeper. Maybe we rise a little in the spine, lifting up and out those hips. Maybe we draw the ribs in a little, and then we roll that chin slowly back to centre. And we're going to bring those couple of movements we've just done. So we're going to inhale, take the arms up and over and interlace them and place them on the back of your head keeping the chin to the chest, then let the arms hang over the, your head. So we're not pulling the head down or the chin to the chest, we're just letting the natural weight, not only of our head, but also the extra bit of our weight of our arms to do a deeper stretch. And let go of those elbows. Even softening your seat a little, maybe that little rounding come into the lower back. Relax off those hip flexors. Again, another area that we hold on to tightly during the day, for all the sitting that we do. And I'm gonna create some movement with this. So as we inhale, let's open up like a flower, letting those elbows draw back, gaze goes up, and we press the head into the hands. And we make it soft again, and then just move from inhale to exhale. You can choose which way you breathe. Often we sort of inhale to open up and then we exhale to just soften. So maybe that's the one that you want to choose. But if it's sort of naturally gone in the opposite direction, then just go with it. So as we move like this, and you can also do this movement without the arms, if you want to release the arms out of the equation. We could then also add a bit more, or this might be just what we need, just to open up around the shoulders, the neck, the upper thoracic spine to get very tight. We've been working with Kelly this week. We've been doing a lot of work on our thoracic spine, which is great. So it's probably feeling quite mobile. But you could add a little sort of twist and lean over to one side, sort of side bend as you come up, and then we can go down. And the next time we come up, maybe take a little twist and a bend and just keep it really gentle, really soft, but just conscious in the movement that we're doing. Really see if you can follow the breath. If you sort of finish that movement, the breath's still going, maybe there's a little bit of pushing back, a bit like when we inhale and we take that extra bit of inhale on top of that inhale that we've already done, and then we soften again. Just keep moving, maybe you want to now sort of move from side to side as we come up, and then we come down, and relaxing all the muscles, shoulders, elbows, arms, head, everything. And if there's anything else that your body is intuitively asking for, or thinking, oh, that would feel nice, then go for it. I'm just going to do a couple more of these. Keeping it really simple this evening. I know a lot of us are tired this evening, so I get it. This time of year, it gets cold in the evening, days are shorter, and it's just a bit of an effort, a little extra effort. 
And then the next time our head comes through that neutral position, relax the arms all the way down, nice and softly. Close the eyes, let the arms just hang down by your sides. Draw the chin in slightly. Squeeze it, those sitting bones together so there's a little bit of activation down in that pelvic floor, in that Wollabunga, and then lift and lengthen through the spine. Take one roll of the shoulders and then let them flop and just hang, and then just come back to your breath. And we're just gonna follow the breath with a little count. So let's breathe in for four, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four. And we're gonna add one on the exhale this time. So inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, five. And it feels good. Inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, five. I'm going to add a little pause. So inhale, three, four, hold. Exhale, two, three, four, five, and hold. Inhale, two, three, four, hold. Exhale, two, three, four, five. One more round. Inhale, two, three, four, hold. Exhale, two, three, four, five, and hold. And then just take a natural, nice deep breath in and let it out through your mouth. Nice. Gently flicker open those eyes to their gaze in front of you, just on the floor, and then just arrive back. And maybe you have the eyes closed or maybe you have them open. And we're gonna make our way down onto the floor now. So we've just opened up around that upper part of our spine it gets quite tight. So with a little bit of warmth and slow movement and a bit of breath. So for this, if you take a block with you, so it's beside you, in fact, take your block and the strap, and then we've got them all nice and handy next to us. I'm gonna come and lay onto our backs with our knees bent. Keep the socks on, there's no need to take the socks off. It's cold at the moment, and we're not doing this requiring us to get any sort of grip. So when we get there, we're gonna just take our arms into cactus arms, if that feels comfortable, but feel free to have your arms in any way. It's just another way to sort of work on opening up the spine, but we've been doing lots of work this week on opening up the upper spine and the thoracic spine. So, you know, feel free to have them just down by your sides if that feels more comfortable for you. Then can you draw the chin in, just lengthening the back of the spine, the neck there, and then press into the feet, lift up the hips, tuck the tailbone, and then place the lower back onto the mat and then relax. Just a nice way to extend the top and the bottom of the spine. And then close the eyes, sink into the ground and just feel yourself becoming heavy. And you've got that option to take back on that breathing exercise, either just breathing in for four, breathing out for four, or adding on that hold, or maybe adding an extra one on the exhalation. Or you can simply just breathe normally. But let's just, do whatever will give us the opportunity just to ground into the earth for a moment. Let the back and the spine settle and just find some stillness. If you've taken a breathing practice, just let that go now. And then we're just going to gently sway the knees from side to side. They can be as big a sways or as small a sways. They can be the speed that you want them to be. Just move with your body's rhythm and what it wants you to do right now. Just loosening off that lower back now. We've done a lot of stuff on the middle and upper back and around the neck and the shoulders. And we're just going to work on that lower spine a little bit. 
Next time the knees come over, it doesn't matter which side they come to, you're going to take that bottom ankle and maybe place it on top of the top knee, top leg knee. And that might be a bit too strong, and if it is, then just leave the knees just dropping over to one side, whatever feels good. If you're feeling like this evening you want more of a stretch, we can take that opposite hand. So if your knees are over to the right, it will be your left hand and reach it up and over the head. So we get a stretch down that side of the body. But obviously if your knees are over to the other side, then it's the other arm. So it's the opposite arm to the way your knees are pointing. Lovely. And after you've had a bit of a stretch while reaching that arm up and over, you've gone for that option. Then just relax and let the arm slide back into its natural sort of cactus arm or sort of shape that it creates. And then just soften, letting the weight of that ankle or your knees do the work. And just feel, close the eyes and really feel into this stretch. It's quite a good one to kind of get deep into the waist and that side of the body. Take two more breaths here. Think about expanding that rib cage, front, back, and sides, and really soften on the exhalation. And if you've taken that bottom ankle on the top knee, release it and just let the knees just drop to one side for a moment. And then we'll all bring those knees back to centre and let's hug them in drawing them into our chest, lifting the tailbone, maybe the nose comes to me if that feels good, just to reset the spine a little, relax the head back down and place the feet back into the mat. Again, your arms can either change the position or come back to where we had them and then take those swings again, just from side to side, just a few this time. We've already warmed up a little and then eventually we drop them over to the other side. And if you weren't for the ankle on top of the knee, just hang on for a moment. Just let the knees just drop over. Relax all the muscles in and around that sort of hip area. Even the knees, let them become heavy in the lower back. And it's going to feel different on this side. So if you are picking up the ankle and placing it on the top knee, when you do that, then relax with the exhalation. Just make sure that feels good on this side, because it might not. It might feel a bit deeper on this side and not what the body wants. When we close our eyes, we sort of internalise that experience and it kind of almost turns the volume up on the inside. So it's a good way to kind of tune into the body. And if an extra stretch is what you want, it's the opposite arm that reaches actively up and over your head, but still resting on the ground, but just sort of stretching as if like waking up and yawning in the morning. And then eventually we just relax the arm and let it slide back to a shape and position that it wants to be in. And then just settle into this twist. <laughs> Noticing your breath, expanding that rib cage on the inhale and letting everything soften on the exhalation. Just winding down from the day and allowing the mind to sort of switch off. It might flutter from things that have happened, things that we've got to do tomorrow, this week, leading up to Christmas and whatever else, but just bring it back to the sensations in your body. Use your breath as your anchor, your body, and a mantra if you need to. And that mantra can simply be, let's wind down. So if there's something you're working with, then go for that. If you're taking the ankle on top of the knee, just release that and let the knees just soften into that side twist. And then we all bring them back to centre. This time, take those knees in, slide the hands either down to your ankles, outer edges of your feet or the back of the thighs and we'll find happy baby pose. A nice little counter pose, sort of forward folding into that spine and take a little rock from side to side. Press the tailbone down so we get a nice little massage on that lower back. And we don't need to be grabbing the feet in our happy baby. If we're feeling like we just want to be a little bit softer today, then take the hands on the back of the thighs. Good work, guys. Keep it nice and gentle. Maybe 
with our happy baby, rock smaller and smaller until we come back to stillness. And then we're going to close our eyes and just take a moment here, draw the chin in a little, and then relax in the neck. Soften the shoulders. I know we're holding onto our legs in some way, shape or form. So see if you can soften them. Almost let the arms hang off the feet or the legs, wherever you've got them. And then just notice how this feels. And then we're going to release the feet, place them back down into the mat, because we've got the knees bent. And if you've got a bolster, I'd suggest a bolster is probably more comfortable in this, but if you haven't got the luxury of a bolster, maybe a couple of cushions, or you can use your block. So we've got all those props around us. I'm going to take my bolster and I'm going to press into the, my hips and lift up and slide whatever prop you've got underneath your sacrum. So that's the flat part of your back. And then just let those hips settle back down into the mat. Now, bolster is a bit too high for you as well. You might want just a blanket, a folded blanket as well, something a little bit lower. And we're just going to spend a few moments here just to let the body sink into the prop. There's a slight inversion going on here, so there's a different sort of flow of the blood. So you might get that sort of flush to the brain, to the head. You might feel like your head feels quite strong for a moment, and that's okay. Just let that shift and that change happen. And take your right knee, draw it in. And then your left knee can either stay bent, if that feels quite comfortable, or you can extend it out. It doesn't have to be long and straight, it can just be extended out a little bit more. And we're just going to hold here. So with your hands interlaced, holding on to the shin or the back of the thigh, see if you can relax the shoulders and just sort of hang here. So no effort in the ankles, just sort of hanging here. But we've got this support, this lovely support of whatever prop you've used underneath you. So it means that we can kind of hang out here, whereas if we had our hips on the ground, it wouldn't necessarily be as comfortable necessarily. You might want a little wiggle from side to side, just encourage a little release in those muscles, and then just come back to stillness. How's that breath doing? How does it feel? Where can you feel your breath? And just drop into the rhythm of your breath. No expectations, no need to shift it if you don't need to, but you might want to just change it into a little more deeper breath or longer exhalation, whatever works for you this evening. The idea of this wind down class is to literally just wind down from the day, make it effortless and just enjoy moving, stretching, breathing and just being quiet for a moment. That world outside is pretty busy and there's a lot of demands on us day to day, so no expectations here this evening. One more breath. And then let's bring the other knee in as well. Just hug them both in for a moment. And then release that right foot down into the mat so it's bent knee first. And then we hold on to the other knee. And as we hold it there, relax the jaw, relax the shoulders, make sure the support underneath you, the prop underneath you is feeling comfortable. And then choose what you want to do with that right leg. Do you want to extend it a little bit more? Do you want to go out straight? Or was it happy where it was bent? Remember, two different bodies are left and are right almost. That's how I refer to them anyway. So treat them the way they want to be treated. Don't force them. Don't try to match the other side. Have a little wiggle maybe with the hip, the left knee from side to side, just warming and releasing those muscles and the hip flexors. And then wherever you are, let's just settle. Starting to maybe take a couple more deeper breaths just to bring that awareness to the breath. And then we 
just drop into whatever breath practice we want to breathe into. It could be that one that we did at the beginning with a count. It could be just a pause that you liked. Could have been lengthening the exhalation, or it could simply just be not even thinking about the breath and just letting it happen naturally. effort in those arms, super relaxed, again hanging off those legs. Let's take a little body scan from the crown of the head all the way down into the toes, including going out into the arms. Is there anywhere that you're gripping onto that you didn't realise? I mean, we're holding the leg, but we can hang off the leg if we interlace the fingers and we find a position where we can kind of let go of the muscle effort. And that silence, isn't it lovely? I always don't want to talk, I'm going to give you that pure silence for a whole hour. But wouldn't we all like to turn up and do Shabbatana for an hour? <laughs> Last two breaths here. And this time, instead of bringing the knees in, we're going to extend the legs out. So keep your hands on the belly for now. And those legs, when I say extend them out, they could be extended back out to bent knees and feet into the mat. So you do whatever feels comfortable. This can be quite a bit of a back bend, especially on a bolster. So if the legs are straight, just make sure that feels okay in your back, your lower back. You might want to alternate, you might want to bend one and straighten one leg and then swap over and do it the other side. But just some sort of extensions that we're working into more of a back bend than what we were doing with our leg and knees in asymmetrically, obviously one side and the other, which is a sort of forward fold for the spine, both in the flexion and extension. So wherever you are, if it feels comfortable to do so, you might want to take your arms up and over. That might again increase the back bend, so feel free to have the arms wherever you want them to be. And see if you can relax those shoulders, wherever your arms are. Tune into all those sensations in your body. Where can you feel all this stretch modes, this shape that we've created? And make sure it feels good. And then walk the feet back up so they are planted back into the mat. We've got those knees bent, arms come back down by your sides. And then we're gonna come back into that happy baby pose and we're gonna compare it to how it felt when our um, hips were on the ground. So bring the knees in towards you, maybe your hands on the back of the thighs, ankles, or maybe you have them around your ankles and now you can get hold of the outer edges of your feet. We've got this lovely support lifting our hips up and our lower back is resting on. And if you're not on a bolster and you want to block, then sort of just move that around, make sure whatever prop you're using is comfortable, it's not digging into the back. So only you know that. And then we're going to hang here. So when I talked about those hands and those arms hanging, you might even find that, you know, the shape you've created, there's, there's no sort of hanging, the arms are super relaxed. But wherever you are, if there's any sort of pulling, 
or sort of stretching, I want you to kind of, with the arms that is, I want you to kind of maybe change it. So even if you can grab the outer edges of your feet, see what it feels like to maybe just wrap the arms around the back of the legs, near to the knees. Does that feel better? Does that feel more relaxing? More effortless? Or maybe it felt good just to hang off the ankles or the feet. And we're going to be here for a couple of minutes now. So get comfy. Don't move your neck whenever you're in these sorts of positions. Where's that breath? Let's follow it. Feel free to always come out of any pose sooner than I suggest. And make any other shapes that work better for you. like a happy, happy baby. In stillness, in comfort. Gently start to increase the breath. In and out through your nose if that's comfortable and not being congested. And then just start to maybe get some movement into the feet as well. So just pointing or flexing, maybe rotating. I've got lots of pots and clicks in my ankles. And then slowly release those feet back down to the earth, keeping those knees bent. Take the arms up and over. If you want to extend the legs as well, or one at a time, you can do that. Just take another full body stretch. Just notice for a moment, thinking about that first happy baby to this one here, where we were supported. It's a lovely way to do a happy baby pose. So maybe that's something you want to bring into your own practice. Maybe something to do just before you go to bed. It's a bit like legs up the wall. We change that flow of the blood and we take a moment with an in an aversion. It gives us that sort of fresh blood to the brain and, and kind of just calms the nervous system. Float the arms back down by your sides and then from here we're going to press into the feet. Lift the hips up gently and slide whatever prop that you've taken underneath you to one side and place back onto the mat. And that should feel quite nice. Let the back settle for a moment. Again, maybe even thinking for a moment how different it feels compared to when we had our back on the mat before. And then just sway those knees from side to side. Hopefully there's a little bit more space and freedom and unravel that lower back as well. And that should feel quite nice. So let's take the soles of the feet together and let the knees drop out wide. Now for any reason this is quite strong for you. You've got your blocks that you can place underneath the knees just to support the legs. Or you can grab your strap and make it into a really big loop, a big, as wide as you can get your strap. And then you sort of just twist it into a figure of eight and you can place one hoop over one knee and one over the other. And we're just gonna settle here with the knees wide in this butterfly position, if that feels comfortable for you. If it doesn't, if you just take your legs or feet the width of your mat and just take the sort of bent knee position over wider. 
and take the hands onto your belly. Just feeling and connecting to that breath. Feel free to come out of this whenever you need to, if it feels a bit too strong, especially if you're not using the props. Otherwise, we'll take three more breaths. Nice, big, long, conscious breaths. to that last breath, draw the hands down, either removing your props or taking your hands to the outer edges of your knees and just bring them back together. Draw them into your chest, take a little hug, a little rock from side to side, lots of lovely work there for the spine. Nice. And then let's release those feet back down onto the mat. We're just going to roll to one side, making a pillow for our head for a few moments and just resting on that side of the body. And let's take two more, four cycles of breath there. So there's no rush to get up. And then when you do decide after those couple of breaths to push yourself up, take it gradually, really slowly and close the eyes. And we're just going to do a tiny little bit of movement through the whole sort of spine now on our all fours and then we're going to come back down again. So just come into a kneeling position, spread those fingers and take a little wiggle and a wave with those hips as if you've got a tail and we're just wagging our tail. Nice. Let's extend that left leg out behind us, rock forward and back. So get a little bit into the back of the legs as well. Drop that knee back down and then extend the other leg, tucking the toes, just rocking forward and back. Nice. And then you might want to stay here and something similar to what in the morning practice is, you might want to bring your elbow down to your shoulders and just sort of come onto your forearms. And we could just work into a little cat-cow like that. So it's a really sort of restricted cat-cow. We're opening up the upper thoracic spine, which we've already done a bit of work on. So hopefully that sort of cat-cow on your forearms will feel quite nice. Or if you want something a little bit more energetic and to include the legs a bit more, tuck the toes and lift the hips up and then just rock forward and back. Or you could just stay stationary, pushing into the earth. And you could breathing into that space between your shoulder blades and expanding the breath up into that thoracic spine. Like I said, you can add a bit of movement or you can leave the movement. You could even come down to your knees, take a cat cow and then lift back up into that sort of dolphin pose we've got going on. So you could add the two, but that might all feel very energetic. So. Maybe just sticking with that first one, or you could just carry on with your nice cat cows on all fours if that feels better. But just take one or two more where you are, whichever variation you've gone for. And then we'll all meet back in all fours. And we're in that all fours position. I just want you to squeeze your hips and your head to one side so that you take a C shape and then move all the way over to the other side. And then you can either choose to come into child's pose or we walk the hands forward, keeping the hips above the head and then melt down into our puppy dog pose. But I always like to offer a bit of a hybrid between the two. So even though your hips are meant to be above your knees and you melt the chest in your puppy dog pose, you could also sink the hips back a little. So the hips don't have to go to the heels, but we kind of do a bit of a hybrid of the two. And that's quite nice. We 
if you've gone for child's pose, stay there. If you've gone for the hybrid or you've gone for puppy dog pose, let's come back up again. And then I want us all to sink back into child's pose. You can have the knees together or apart, your choice. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide that left hand that's reaching out in front of us back towards where the shoulder is. And when we get to the shoulder, we just then press and twist towards the left hand side. So it's like a little twist, but we're in child's pose. The hips are towards the heels, and it's just a nice sort of middle and upper spine stretch. And then release back down, stretch the arms back up and over in front of you. Slide the right hand towards where the shoulder, right shoulder is, and then we just twist towards that right side. It's a lovely one to get into the shoulders. Nice. And then stretch back out. We're gonna round up through our cat and then drop the belly and the hips, almost coming into either a sort of half supported plank or if you drop the hips a bit more into a sort of high cobra, but not quite a cobra because your hips are still up a little bit. And then push all the way back towards your child's pose. Have a little wiggle back with your hips towards your heels encouraging a little bit of movement and as we exhale we round up think about what Kelly was talking breathe into that upper thoracic spine and then we sort of extend out we can stay in that sort of half supported um, plank pose or we drop the hips as much as feels comfortable and this time because we've been here before maybe we have a little look over one shoulder in the other so we kind of move in the upper spine and the hips naturally move from side to side but again whatever effort you want to put in and then pull the belly back as you go all the way back towards that child's pose. Nice. As you rest that head down into the mat, I want you to just rock your head, your forehead from side to side, getting a little massage, a little soothing sensation for that forehead. Again, it also opens up the shoulders, it's quite nice. And then really slowly, let's come up to a kneeling position if that feels comfortable for you. One more bit of movement and then we're going to come down to the ground and enjoy a lovely long shavasana. So from a kneeling position, if that's comfortable, feel free to come into a different position. You can do it in cross-legged as well. We're going to walk the hands backwards behind us. You can come onto fingertips or you can have your hands flat into the ground. You could even have your hands on some blocks. So choose whatever it is that you feel you need to. But the idea here is we're then going to squeeze the shoulder blades together, open up the heart, take the gaze up. And then there's another option here. Maybe we stay here or we lift the hips up. But if we're not looking for a heart opener right now, we can just simply sit into a nice comfortable seat, close the eyes, either work on the neck or just enjoying some stillness. But if you have got the hands behind you, we're opening up that chest or lifting the hips as well. Just breathe into the front of the body for a moment. You might want to come back down for a moment and just release off. And then come back up again to whatever position or variation that you chose. So lovely open, relaxed shoulders from all that tension that we hold in them during the day, whether that's driving, rounding our computer, or just the way we hold ourselves, protecting ourselves from the things that we want to resist. And then let's come back down again. And we're simply just going to sweep our legs around. And this is where I'm going to invite you to just notice how your body temperature is. So if you want to grab some extra layers, you want to grab some extra blankets, maybe you want some pillows for your head. I just want you to get really super comfy because we've got a lovely long shavasana here and we're going to do a kind of bit of a yoga nidra. So go and grab all those bits that you need. I just suggest that don't rush and run around, but do spend the time gathering all those bits to make ourselves super comfortable. And an extra pair of socks is not a bad idea as well. And if you've got an eye pillow, that's another lovely thing to have handy as well. And your shavasana can be any shape, meaning you can lay on your side, you can even, not even come to a laying position, you can come to a seated position if you wanted to for this last 10 minutes. So just make sure you're really nice and warm. Every part of the body that wants to be supported and comfortable and cosy, is exactly that. Okay. And when you're 
body there. Just see if there's anything in the body that just wants that last little bit of movement. Whether that's a wiggle of the fingers or it's a full body stretch or a little twist. Just tune into the body and see what that is before we then settle down into complete comfort. And this is your last prompt to see if there's anything that we're compromising on. Could you go and grab another pillow or something just to make yourself that little bit more comfortable? Maybe even switch up a light. Okay, and then let's just find that breath. And just for a moment, can you notice how long and slow that breath is? compared to when we maybe arrive in our mat. Hopefully we've gradually started to wind the body down and we kept that little bit of movement just towards the end for purpose so that we kind of just sort of move a little and then our body is really ready to settle. So let's all tune in together to three lovely, nourishing, calming, soothing, deep breaths. Breathing in and out through the nose. On a full inhale and full exhale. And then just let the whole body become heavy. Feeling the weight of the head, pressing gently into the comfort of your pillows, the ground beneath you, supported, heavy and relaxed. And then working from the back of the head, I want you to work around all the muscles in the face and the head. So we go from the back where we can feel that contact of the ground where the head is resting and work up from round to the crown of the head, relaxing all the muscles, almost as if you could feel your hair just sort of softening. And then coming to the forehead. And like someone was just stroking your forehead, smoothly, gently, all those worries and creases and thoughts that we carry on our forehead, just away. Smooth and soft and calm. And the space between your eyebrows, softening as well. Eyebrows themselves, the temples, the top of your cheeks, to your ears. Can you let go of the muscular effort around the ears. It sounds unusual, but we, you know, it's connected to where the jaw is. Can you relax that area? And your lips, your jaw itself. Relax the tongue. And if that awareness of the tongue suddenly becomes like, oh, where do I put that tongue? Then just press it to the roof or the back of your teeth for a moment. And then just relax the whole mouth. And if that means the lips want to pass, the jaw softens, then let it do that. Let's take another deep breath in. Feel that lovely, relaxing, soothing sensation with the exhale as we allow more and more muscles to relax, to soften, to ease, to let go of their grip. They've done their work today. Working from the jaw, down the neck, sides, front and back. Into those shoulders that work so hard. Let's visualize the breath moving into the shoulders. And as we exhale, the shoulders melting into the ground beneath you almost like paint dripping, completely soft. And across the front of your chest, feeling your breath, that really soft rise and fall. 
amazing how the body follows the rhythm of your breath. Find yourself just immersed by that rhythm. Feeling every part of your body moving as you breathe in and you breathe out. Each exhale, another muscle, another area softens. From the chest to the rib cage, that really subtle expansion in between each rib, intercostal muscles expanding and then softening. As your torso becomes heavier on each exhale, and you feel yourself sinking into the ground, feeling supported and held. Feeling the rib cage and the back of the body, and how we rise from the ground on the inhale and then we melt back into the ground on the exhale. Feeling the sides of the body down into the waist, the lower back and that space created from that natural curve of our spine, all the way around to the belly. And let's dive deep into the belly, all those muscles that work hard with our digestion, as well as the core, all these different muscles doing so many different things for us. And it's said that our belly is like our second brain, so when we're thinking things and putting on that smile, we might be externally resenting that we're okay. But have you ever noticed how the tummy feels tight or maybe that's when we have those tricky moments with our digestion. We don't feel like eating or we feel anxious. It is like a second brain, the muscles tense. So let's bring all of our focus and all of our breath to soothing, softening and relaxing this area. Take a couple of deep breaths here, expanding the belly, encouraging all those muscles to open and then relax and soften. Maybe a couple more breaths and we take inhales through the nose and like a lovely sigh out through the mouth. Letting go of anything that we just want to let go of. Maybe that resonated with you with the belly. Let's let go of that muscular effort. And drop back into that effortless breath that we don't even think about. Awareness of the hips. That maybe when we turn up today, we weren't really aware of. Hopefully feeling a little more open, a little more soft. But let's focus now on them feeling heavy. Heavy, relaxed being supported. The upper legs, heavy and relaxed. The knees soft. aware of your shins and the difference between the front of your lower leg, the shin, the sort of thin skin, over that large bone 
and then wrap around the back of your lower legs and become aware of the calves, those big muscles, more fleshy, more muscular, and soften the lower legs. Down into the ankles, the feet, the big toe, second, third, fourth, and little pinky toes. Onto the balls of your feet, the outer edges of your feet. The heel pressing heavily into the mat, feeling the weight of your legs now. The arches of your feet, the top of your feet, the soles once more, and then the spaces between your toes. bringing all of your awareness to that space between your toes. And then let's take a nice deep breath in once more as we breathe from the toes all the way up through the legs, the hips, the torso, sides, front, back, through the chest, out into the arms, and then we exhale, and then everything switches off. Every last muscular effort we let go of and we become completely relaxed. Gently bring your awareness back to your body, the weight of the body, being supported by the ground, your props, the shape that you've created, where your hands are placed, how relaxed your body feels. And with your next inhale, Let's slowly start to breathe a little life back into the body, just gently awakening it from your sleep. Maybe again a sigh out through your mouth might feel nice. And then really slowly start to bring in some movements into your fingers, maybe your toes, maybe the ankles. Maybe a little lick of the lips, a little smile to the face, maybe chin to chest, or maybe even a little head from side to side. Just little subtle movements. Let's take an inhale and if it feels comfortable where you are in the shape you've created, just take the arms up and over and take a little bit of a stretch like yawning open the body, maybe down the left side and then the right or both together. Maybe you want to interlace the hands and then push them away. But stretch in any way that feels good for you. And how about bringing those knees in to give ourselves a little bit of a hug, drawing the knees in, giving ourselves a little squeeze. And when you do so, if you go for that move and whatever shape you're in and wherever you are, just say a massive big thank you. Thank you to yourself for carving out this time, for showing up for you. And then a little rock from side to side to eventually roll to one side, whichever side invites you. And take your time to come to your seat. Gently keeping the eyes closed and once we get to that seat, 
Okay, maybe you want to take an inhale, sweep the arms up, maybe grab a long wrist and have a little lean over to one side, and then grab the opposite wrist and lean to the other side. And then relax the arms down, take a little roll of those shoulders that hopefully are a little bit more open. Maybe a little movement into the neck, a bit like we started the class, just moving around in any way or similar to what you did before. A little wiggle through the spine, maybe a little rotation around those hips. And just notice how you feel. And then we'll all take an inhale as we sweep the arms up and over, gather all that lovely energy you've created in your practice into those palms. As you close your eyes once more, take a smile to the face and draw those palms back in front of the heart space chin to chest, take a gentle bow to honour yourself, your body, your practice and this evening for taking that time for you, well done. And we'll close our practice there with namaste. Thank you so much for joining me, I hope you enjoyed the session and feel nice and relaxed after that session. You are welcome to check out my other classes that I've got online on YouTube anything from sort of yin all the way through to dynamic yoga, surf fit yoga, and come and join me on Zoom land. <laughs> um, I do early morning classes 6.45, 30 minute classes in the mornings on Monday, Tuesdays, and there's a Thursday on there as well. And then if you want a later morning, there's a 7.30 on a Wednesday and a fun Friday flow on Friday morning. Plus on my schedule is lots of other classes, to yoga, to vinyasa, to wind down like we just done. So, come and check out the schedule under yoga on wild and free adventures. Hope to see you on the mat again.